Hey everyone, Cycreasin here, and in this tutorial, I'm going to be talking about converting grayscale to color and some of the problems people run into when doing that. So, to begin with, I have this sentence The boy wore a red shirt and yellow pants. So, here's the boy, and we're going to give him a red shirt and yellow pants, but first, just going to go ahead and color him. So let's color in. And what I've done here, by the way, is I've uh, created a clipping layer and it's set to color mode. And let's color in his skin. And if you don't know how I'm just coloring the skin, it's. Uh, it's explained in other tutorials, so <laughs> I'm not going to go in depth on that here. Um, and now for the hair, let's give him brown hair. And so basically, it's just changing the color of the thing to whatever I want. So that's why I'm able to do that. Let's give him like blue shoes, I guess. All right, and uh, red shirt and yellow pants. So shirt, let's give him red, red shirt. Wait, no, I want this kind of red. Uh, oh yeah. Yellow pants. No, why? <laughs> I want this yellow not what's going on do I suck at color why doesn't Photoshop work well let's figure that out so what's going on that's wrong here why does the shirt look pink and the pants look I don't know this ugly yellowish color well it has to do with the relationship between color and value. So I made this chart up and uh, you can go to Cycre.net, go to the resources and uh, here color to reference value, click that and you can download it yourself. And what it's done is it separated the colors into their values. Now every color has its own inherent value so every local color so when you think of yellow it has its own range and it's not that large so for yellow it's in the high range and so you can look at uh, this value scale and it's you know it's from like 8 to 10 and mostly in 9 is where when you think of the color yellow um, it's in that range now by contrast red is a very low range so the value of red is very dark uh, compared to the value of yellow. Uh, orange is kind of in the middle and it, I arranged it this way because it's kind of like it goes yellow to orange to red uh, almost by value. Um, with blue though it's got a much larger range so you could have and and I know there's lots of different colors that could be thought of as blue, so this isn't to say these are all the bl blue colors, these aren't all the yellow colors. And also I am aware that in a previous tutorial I talked about how when you color you don't think about you know blue, purple, green, you think about warm and cool. Um, this isn't geared to warm and cool, this is just about color in terms of the hue. Um, so anyway. So yeah, so blue has a big range and so does purple. Green, it has quite a big range, but a bit less than blue. Now, my standard is that if you go much darker or much lighter, it becomes hard to identify this as green. So of course you could go uh, even lighter with blue, but it gets to the point where you can't tell if it's blue or if it's white. Um, so this is mainly just, you know, for recognizable blue colors that you can just look in like yeah definitely that's blue yeah definitely that's green um, so with red if you go lighter you'll end up with a pink color and it'll, it won't be red anymore so 
it's very limited. So now when we go back to this guy, our boy, and I just turn off the color, you can see that the problem wasn't that uh, the color was wrong, it's that the value of this was way too light. Um, because if we look here, this value is maybe the 6. And so if we had painted this orange, it would have been fine, right? Because it fits in that value range. But because we went for red, and red should have been one of these much darker values, then we ran into some problems. So let's see if this works. So I'm just going to, let me dock this. I'm going to keep the colors the exact same. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the color of the value, not the color of the color. So I'm just going to change the value of the shirt. And we want a red shirt. So I'm going to pick a value that is in this range, right? So let's say this, I'm just going to paint it over and turn back the color and there we go and if that is a bit too dark I can raise the value a bit and there it's much closer to a red same thing with yellow right so there's this and let me just change the value to a lighter value let's say this value, the 9. And turn back the color. And now it's a yellow color. So this is really important when you're uh, doing, usually when you're doing more complex pieces in this. This is a pretty simple drawing. Um, but what can happen is you'll go from grayscale to color and you'll run into these problems where the color you put down isn't the color you want and you might try and fix it by just saying like okay is my color wrong that I pick the wrong color but it's not about the color it's about the inherent value of the color so that's pretty much it uh, just remember that every color has an inherent value um, and the more desaturated you go so if I went to a brown, for instance, uh, the more open this is, this value range. So even if I, if I was thinking of yellow and I wasn't thinking of recognizable yellow, but just some color that fits into yellow. So for instance, this, this wouldn't, it's not what I'd think of as a yellow, but it's still in this yellow range. Um, then it would work because it's more desaturated. And remember this going in this direction, um, is more saturated this is less saturated if we use the traditional Photoshop this is more saturated in the right side but less saturated on the left side so you get a lot more variation in the low saturation um, but with blue you get a lot of variation throughout and it's still going to look like blue all right so I hope that helped and thanks for watching